Hello everyone, it's Jessica from Mrs. Steenbird's Glass at blogspot.com here today to show you how to lock your iPad in class so that your students can't get out of the app that you want them in during a specific time of the day. If you're anything like me, I have these out during literacy workstations and math workstations and recess. And during literacy workstations and math workstations, there are specific apps that I want them on um, to meet certain standards of the day. Um, and a few little stinkers of mine will always click out, get onto something else while I'm making my rotations around the room. And then when I come back, I see that they're on something else. And um, I have to get them back on it. So to save yourself the time, I have a free and easy way that's already on your iPad. It's not an app that you have to download. And it will save you time and energy in your classroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings. So on my iPad, I'm going to go up to my little gear, little settings tab. I don't know why I have this weird glare. But you're going to go into your settings tab. Once you're in there, you're going to go make sure you're over on general. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to find the accessibility button, which is right here. You're going to go in there. Once you're in there, you're going to go to the guided access button. You're going to go up to the top. Make sure it's toggled on. Most likely you are, you are already off because that's how um, they come factory uploaded. Then you're going to have to set a passcode. You're going to pick any four digit code that is um, easy for you to remember. After you put it in, it's going to ask you to re-enter that code to make sure that you typed it in correctly the first time. After that, it's going to bring you back to the page. Um, down at the bottom, you're going to see that I have enabled screen sleep. That means when the screen dims after you're, um, you haven't touched the iPad for a while, um, hitting the sleep or wake button will put the screen to sleep immediately. So um, what I've been having an issue with is my kids will close the screen um, on the cover, forget that they left it on, and um, this button isn't going to allow them to get out of the app. So it keeps the battery on, and when we leave for lunch or specials, they're keeping it on, and it's, it's killing our batteries. So you want to make sure that you toggle that. Now what you're going to do is click out of there. And you're going to go to any app that's on your iPad. So this is my personal iPad. I'm just going to go to Class Dojo. As you see, I'm logged in. All my kiddos. What you're going to do is you're going to click the home button three times. One, two, three. Then it's going to bring you to this screen. It says Guided Access. And then it says Start up at the top and Cancel. So what I'm going to do is if... This was the actual app that you were using in class. You are able to actually highlight any part of this screen. Let me see if I can move the screen to kind of make this a little easier. There we go. Um, you can highlight any part of your screen. Say um, this is a free app and down at the bottom there's an ad that I don't want the kids to accidentally click. I am going to trace it with my finger and it's going to not let them access that gray square. I can stretch it to fit it exactly. So if, um, oops, oh my goodness. If the kiddos were in this app, they won't be able to click on that button. Um, see, there's a button up here that um, takes them out of the app. I'm going to circle that, not let them in that. Um, but as you see this app, there's no button that they're going to click that um, does anything that I don't want them to do. So I would just hit start. Guided access has started. Now once you're in it, if the kiddos, oops, I'm looking at it backwards. If the kiddos click this to get out, it's going to say guided access is enabled. Triple click the button to get out. So if you have readers like me and they see that and they're like, oh my goodness, Mrs. Stanford, what did you do this time? One, two, three. It's going to ask them that for that passcode. If they don't have that passcode, which they shouldn't have it, they're not going to be able to get out of this app. 
unless you want them to. So if you wanted to get out of this app, all you're going to do is you're going to type in your code. It's going to bring you to the um, guided access page and you can either hit resume or you can end to get out. Also down at the bottom, you can shut touch off if for some reason you had them on some kind of movie or a YouTube page that you want them to watch a 20 minute segment of something, um, you would uh, disable the touch, which means it makes the whole screen um, not able to respond to their touch. Um, you can also lock motion, meaning um, the kids can't rotate the page. Um, I know when I had kinders, um, I didn't have the best of covers for my iPad, so um, this would have been a great thing to know about because the kids like to see that page flip, so they would constantly do this. And I would grit my teeth every time I saw them do it because I was scared they were going to drop it on the ground. Um, but now we have awesome um, cases and we don't have to worry about that. And then hardware button, you can actually shut that off. Um, it says always off. So I want to get out of here, so I'm going to hit end. And now I can just hit the regular home button. And there we are, free and easy. So simple, so amazing. Wish I would have known about it since I have three iPads in my classroom. Um, but now that I know about it, we use it every day. The kids, um, it took a little while getting used to because like I said, I had those few stinkers that were trying to get out of the apps all of the time and I figured out which ones they were because they came up to me and they were like, Mrs. Stanford, the iPad is frozen. And I was like, well, is it frozen, frozen or will it not let you out of the app? And they're like, it won't let me out of the app. And I'm like, well, you're not supposed to be able to get out of the app. Why are you trying to click out of the app? What's going on? And then I kind of caught them and, you know, they're a little little action. So it's a great thing to do. If you have any questions about it or you know any other cool tricks on the iPad, please let me know at jessica.stanford at me.com. Thanks and hope to see you at my blog soon.